traditions can be passed down from generation to generation or created in the here and now. All it takes is a little bit of intention, imagination, and creativity. I'm Kimberly Whitman, and my passions are family, entertaining, and creating memories that last a lifetime. Join me now for Styling the Season. Welcome. Together, we're going to celebrate Christmas in style. I can't wait to share my family's tradition of decorating gingerbread houses together. It started many years ago when my son's godmother brought over a kit and off we went. We've done it every year since. And over the years, we've learned all sorts of tips and tricks on ways to make it easy to clean up, super fun, and really good looking. So come on, I'll show you my styling tips and tricks for gingerbread houses. We are about to start decorating the gingerbread houses like we do every year all together. And this is my son, JR, my daughter, Millie, and their godmother, <laughs> Aunt Beauty, Dr. Mary Collins. And over the years, Mary started this tradition, oh, 14, 14 years, years ago, ago uh, with JR. And over the years, we've really kind of picked up some little tricks that help make it easy and fun. And now we've kind of got them looking good. We've got it down. So a few of the things we've done, um, Mary, do you remember the first few years we did this, they would start to put decorations on and the whole house would just start would leaning and collapse because we used the icing to try to glue it together. But then we got smart. Well, the true uh, gingerbread people don't like this very much, but we use a hot glue gun now. We learned and we hot glue the actual house together uh, before we start decorating because the kids, you know, they press on there really hard, the whole thing falls apart, and the hot glue really keeps it together. So it's cheating, it's but it, it keeps them smiling. So it's worth it. <laughs> um, and then they go in and they use the icing to kind of fill in the holes and things like that that are left by the glue guns. But that was a good trick we learned. Yes. So we hot glue the houses together first, and then we get to decorating. and. The other trick that Mary has learned is those icing bags. What are we? What are those bags called again? Pi pi piping pipe bags. Pipe bags. The piping bags are great, but you know the backs are open, and so oftentimes for children, as they're squeezing on that piping bag, the icing comes out the back end and makes a big mess, and it's discouraging, and they can just be hard to use. So one year, Mary showed up with these amazing condiment containers. Jr., show the condiment container. Yes, like this. And she filled it with the icing and off they went. It's no mess, it's so easy, and it makes it so much more fun for the children. So, um, oh, that looks great. I love that. It's like a door handle. Yeah. Well done. Um, and so that's another great trick. The other thing that we uh, have learned, this started last year. A new trick of ours. Yes. Art. 14 and, years to figure it out. Yes, it only took 14 years to figure it out. But now we use uh, muffin tins like this to sort the candies for the children. So instead of having plastic bags everywhere and junk all over the place, trash all over the counter, it's now all condensed into these muffin tins. It's easy for the children to grab what they want. And for Mary, Mary always and decorates. Then we, and then we, of course, have to join in and then we don't have to clean up so much as well. It's so much easier to clean up um, and easier for the children. So uh, this year, because we're gonna be using the gingerbread houses as the centerpieces on our table, we've decided to limit the candy color palette to red and white so that it matches the rest of our tablescape. So um, we've of course got gingerbread natural colors here too. JR's got Chex Mix going over here on the roof line of his house. They look like shingles, which is great. Millie's got a doorbell going and Santa coming I out. I don't know what to do. You're doing great. Just play, yeah. have fun. Uh, and Mary's on a roll over here, lining the windows and things like that. I get the baby house this year. <laughs> it is fun to have different styles of houses. So as you're shopping for gingerbread houses, it is neat to get different sizes, different styles, different shapes, especially if you're going to use them as a centerpiece because that way you've got different heights and styles that can layer on the middle of the table. Another 
trick we learned over time is that pulling out these baking sheets, these cookie sheets that have a little bit of an edge, keeps the mess condensed as they're decorating. So when they're done, instead of having a completely dirty counter, all we have are these cookie sheets to pick up and clean up. you guys. I hope you loved getting a peek at the way that we celebrate Christmas and that it inspires you to celebrate your own seasons in your own unique way. To whatever it is you celebrate, happy styling.